Welcome back guys today um uh, oh my gosh okay today we will be making this is a behind the scenes video for 791 I know and today we will be making a overall dress cover up dress yeah and we will be using corduroy pretty isn't it let's get started Okay guys, so I first start off by um, pinning down the pattern that I made uh, down to the fabric that I'm using. And if you like videos on me um, doing drafting patterns, then let me know, uh, sorry, let me know in the comments below. So yeah, I'm just marking and pinning the fabric and then I'll cut it out. I'm starting first with the skirt, so I will sew the darts first, and I'm just measuring where they are because I did use my awl to like mark where the darts were in. But I'm just pinning uh, the pieces of the skirt together so I can then sew them. So when you're sewing darts, you don't back stitch at the end. You just reduce the stitch length, and then you sew off the uh, garment. That'll give it a nice finished look. And I don't know about everybody else, but I like to serge my ends first and then sew because it like helps me sew a straighter seam. So that's a trick that I use. You can try it for yourself, and if it works for you, let me know down in the comment below. made my first um when i first made this pattern and i made the test run uh dress um i forgot to actually round the edges on the pattern when i was drafting ones for uh my clothing company which is 7190 and mm, i don't want to give away like what the theme of the first collection is but you may get a hint from the style of this uh, overall dress and also the fabric to use. So, yeah. Okay, you guys, so this is what I have so far. I finished the skirt part of the overall. You can see it from the pockets. I serge the top edge. And yeah, we're not the back. So, what happened? So I decided to start with the straps first and just get them out the way. All you're going to do is match the right sides together and sew along the edge as so. Then I'm pressing the seam open and folding over the raw edges and pressing them. I'm going for a seamless look. This is how I achieved it. And then after I do that, I will reinforce it with pins because even though sometimes I press the fabric down, it likes to lift up. So that's why I use pins even after I press it. And you don't necessarily have to do that. You can do it whichever way that works for you. And you just sew along the edge. But make sure, I always like to make sure both of the folds are like so like after I sew I don't like have anything opening up you feel me? next I'm just sewing the bottom parts of the uh, facing for the uh, back and front of the over the upper part of, of the overalls and then I'm pressing down the top because um, that's yeah that's what you're supposed to do so that's what I'm doing <laughs> Yeah, I'm just pressing it down and pinning the straps to the front and back part of the upper part of the overalls. I don't know what those, I don't know the proper term for them. I'm just going to call them the front and back part of the overalls. Upper part because the bottom part of the skirt. Yeah, so I'm talking too much, so just watch what I'm doing. 
And here you're just sewing along the top where you pinned it and make sure that the folds are down and that you're sewing um, the folds in place because if you sew um, under where you pin the folds up, uh, they will come up. I guarantee you that they will because this happened to me countless times. So make sure you're sewing the folds, not under them, or else they will lift up and come out of place. And I'm also, I also, the, what I just did is I sewed the side, I sewed the front and the back together. And then I'm surging. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And then you surge along the edge of the front and the back. And then I'm pressing over that seam because after this, I will sew it down. Just so my edges can be nice and finished. I'm just pressing them down so I can have a cleaner experience. Well, not a cleaner experience, a more pleasant experience when I'm sewing. So I don't have to keep folding it down as I'm sewing because it's, when I press it, it'll already be folded down for me. So try it, guys. You'll like it. And I have to sew in my 7 and one label to brand my creation. You know, I love to tell it. So this is what we have so far. I finished the upper part and the skirt. So the last step, um, the last step would be to just pin this and uh, join them together. And then, actually, that's not the last step. <laughs> that's like. The second note maybe the third to last step actually and at this point what i'm doing i start by pinning them the, the top and the bottom together at the side seams and then i pin uh in between there and i use as many <laughs> excuse me as many pins as i need because you want a clean a clean seam once you finish sewing Now I'm just sewing them together, remembering to remove the pins as I go along because some person or people said you're not supposed to sew over pins, so I try not to all the time. And here I actually made a mistake, that's why you need pins. Like, even though I had the pins, I was still like, somehow the fabric moves around. The fabric always moves around when you sew, that's why you need to keep an eye on it and make sure you have those pins in place and remove them once you get to them. Here I'm just uh, pressing down the seam that I just sewed because I will be sewing it down. You'll see. And I'm just hemming the skirt because I forgot to in the first place. I'm also getting ready to pin uh, the zippers down after I fold over the edges. Um, yeah. I actually messed up the zipper. I didn't align it right, so I had to take it apart off camera. But right here, you can see me pinning the zipper to the um, sides, the open sides of the, um, the middle open part the center front i don't know <laughs> you can see me doing that and about to sew it and as you can see i was having quite some trouble with the zipper 
I even only recorded doing one side of the zipper and I had to like complete the zipper off camera because I messed it up. But that's all for the process. This is the completed look on Mary. She's modeling it. It is hers. And here are some shots of her wearing it. I know it's called an overall dress, but me and Mary both like to wear it as like a cover-up top. And we wore some styles similar to this, like overall styles. Um, and I'll insert some pictures here, but that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye.